Hello, my name is Sharina Groover and I am a student at California University of Pennsylvania. And I am gonna be talking about an ending of a life through pictures, specifically focusing on paintings done by Vincent Van Gogh. So the big idea of this is that towards the end of Van Gogh's life, he showcased through his artwork how mentally exhausted he was, which then hinted that his life was hence nearing the end. So overall, Van Gogh had an eccentric personality and very unstable moods. So this made him suffer from a lot of recurrent psychotic episodes. And specifically, this happened so much during the last two years of his life. So I'm going to be discussing three pictures in a few. And these three were done within these last two years that these psychotic episodes were really happening. Um, the reason why I chose these three paintings was because they really highlight and depict the suffering and internal conflict that Van Gogh was experiencing during this time. And I think it really shows that there really isn't a, an really isn't an escape from your own mind. So I want to first discuss the prisoner's round and that is in the bottom left. So a little background information was Van Gogh entered an asylum at St. Paul during 1889. And during his stay here, he did not spend much time outside, which really impacted his work because he tended to paint the world in which he saw. So since he was um, confined to the indoors, the things he saw weren't really that kind. So as you can see in this painting, there are high walls as well as high ceilings. And this kind of gives off a claustrophobic feeling that made Van Gogh feel like he was in his own personal hell. You can see how the prisoners are walking in a never ending circle, it seems like. And if you focus on the man looking out in the middle, there are some researchers that say that Van Gogh is representing himself through this man. So they said that Van Gogh used this to kind of show how hopeless he feels at this point in time. Um, he really feels like there isn't an escape, I feel like, that he's walking in this circle, that the walls are so high and he can't even look outside the windows, that he's just feeling hopeless and stuck. So moving on, I would want, I want to talk about the night cafe, which was done before he entered the asylum. And I put this in this order because I feel like showing where he was at and how he got there is a good comparison to make. So the night cafe is kind of repulsive to look at when you first glance at it. And that's because of the color scheme Van Gogh used. So as you can see, there is the green, red, and bright yellow. And these colors represent greed, envy, wrath. Um, and this was done on purpose. Van Gogh did this to kind of show the powers of darkness prevailing and that this is the lowest point in humanity. So he used this painting to depict the concerns for the condition of people in need. So he's almost crying for help. Van Gogh said that this is a place where one can go to ruin themselves. So he used the night cafe as a way to express his feeling of hopelessness through the activities that can take place, whether it be falling into alcoholism or committing any crime of sorts. Um, there's one thing that I really want to touch on and that is if you look at the clock, it is past 12, so past midnight. And this kind of shows that the AM hours can really make you do things that you don't think that you would ever consider doing at any other point in the day because your feelings kind of take over. And I think that's really important to touch on. Um, moving on to the one in the bottom right, which is Wheatfield with a Reaper. Um, I'm going to read a description first that Vincent used to describe this piece. And he said, a vague figure struggling like a devil in the full heat of day to reach the end of his toil. And humanity is representing what is being reaped. So Van Gogh is showing that there is really nothing sad overall in death. And at, that means he's kind of accepting that his death is nearing. And I think that's kind of touching in a way because he's prepared. This isn't gonna come as a surprise to anyone, he's ready. 
Um, I also think this painting was really important to show because you can see a building strike structure in the background and that is actually the asylum he stayed at during the two years of which he was really struggling. So I, he, Van Gogh used this as a foreshadowing technique, even though if he wasn't that aware of how important this painting would be. And the event that it foreshadowed was his suicide. So on July 27th of 1890, Van Gogh walked into a wheat field and shot himself at point blank range. So the reaper here is reaching the end of his toil and with Vincent going out and committing suicide in a wheat field kind of signified that he is reaching the end of his own toil as well. Um, in conclusion, Van Gogh obviously produced so many beautiful paintings and so many paintings that we look at like the Starry Night and think that they're so unbelievable. And his talent really does shine through in these three that I featured, but they give off a very dark sense of despair whenever you actually analyze them and take a closer look. And I feel like these are also really important to look at and this whole entire subject is important to touch on because it shows that people give signs whenever they're struggling and that if we look for them, um, they're always there. I'm not saying that Vincent didn't have support. He had a brother in his family that was always there for him through all of this, through all his, epi all his psychotic episodes, but clearly nothing could save Vincent be from his own mind. Uh, I want to thank you for listening to my presentation. Unfortunately, it is not live or in person, so I cannot answer your questions in real time. But if there are any questions or if anyone would want to discuss this in more detail, I could go on about this for so long. My email is gro9229 at calu.edu. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much.